Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. <laughs> Okay, I splice the wires. Ow! Hold on. There it is. Okay, let me at that security computer. Spotlights are offline. There goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Well, for your first time out, you did pretty well. Well, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. No, Murray, I kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. <laughs> Before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. 
You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comlita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. A claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Freeze! It's time to go. You can't run forever. This wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Back your ring tail. Go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. <laughs> Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that Constable Neela, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back, 
In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted, and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocular. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Why? If you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick, I'll beam some virtual markers into your thief mask. They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, use the right analog stick to move the camera and look around for them. Remember, the view is always better from the rooftops. Why? I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. First 
waypoints in position. I've uploaded the next waypoint into your Thief Mask Imager. Remember, click the L3 button to locate your next objective. From here. Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. Get inside. You'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head off for the cellar. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect! All right, pal. Let's get to it. Heads up! If you leave this area, you'll abandon your... The Murray! <laughs> Hold on, Sly. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Looks like you're on your own from here. I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Hi. In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, get near the table and press the circle button. These flashlight guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him.
Impact Slam move only works on guards who haven't seen you. Wait until this guy turns his back, and then let him have it. systems down here. That's our target, Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. Ingenious. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. <laughs> The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Dimitri. He's ordered his guards to 
clear for what? That I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined.
indicate that door is locked from the inside. That's all right. I never was one for the direct approach. Well, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. Aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. 
How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. <laughs> Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers, but we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the spotlight control center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Constable Neela. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally. Don't fall behind. Why? Pull down the 
R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Neela. Sly, we should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. We are absolutely going to work well together.
laser vents, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out of the way before it explodes. Good job. Now, use your sleep darts to get by the guard. Press the R3 button, you know, put out. Drop a bomb on him while he's down to keep him that way. How you holding up out there in the field? Fine. Fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bomb all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving, keep safe. back here at the safe house. And you were right, the peacock sign and half of its bolts pop off on impact.
sprinting press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. And the pickpocket guards sneak up behind them and press the circle button. Sometimes you have to dig a little.
Okay, fellas, the dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Murray will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here! Chum, let's get to that water tower. up there. to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Off, all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Think pocket the keys to his repair truck without being seen. the fountain. 
counter to make the exchange. It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. drive a stick shift. We need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. Majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. God, so raccoonous do this. Right early bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. No, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Yeah? Look. See the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the clogging have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. 
just hand over the tail feathers and we can... What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. Oh, let's dance! Oh. My counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. Doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You... <laughs> Cracker box! <laughs> My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. <laughs>